Okay, let's uh, talk about binary numbers today. Uh, first, let's uh, talk about our current number system. When I say current, I just mean like, you know, the one we use every day. Um, and that's uh, 0, 1, 2, all the way to 9. Doesn't, doesn't include 10, okay? And it's called decimal. Deci is, you know, kind of a, 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 a prefix that's used to mean 10, um, or a tenth, actually. So, um, basically, um, if we wanted to decode, let's say, 416, yeah, that's a pretty good number. Well, basically, that's a 400 plus 10 plus 6, okay? And decimal is called base 10, and the reason it's called base 10 is because each one of these numbers is represented by a power of 10. Okay. Okay, you see how I did that? I just expanded this. If this was uh, like like 4,416, I'd have another term here, and it would be 10 to the third. So, so in, in a way, you might want to start out at, at the tail end of your number, okay, and, and, ex, and expand it that way. That might even be a better way to do it. Um, so that's basically, like, if you really break down this, this number, I mean, this isn't anything special, this number right here, um, but if you really break it down, we can pick apart every number this way. Um, it gets a little different um, when you when you when you add decimals to it. We you might get into some of like the negative exponents, and you know we we might actually do that because you know uh, you know you have to use uh, decimal numbers just as much as regular numbers. So, um, but the main point of this was just to get to the actual binary number system, okay? And the binary number system, of course, you probably already know that it's just zero and one. Okay, so if we took the number one zero zero one one, I guess, and one's good as any, I guess. Um, well, let's expand that. Okay, well, there's, there's let's see, um, what I like to do on on the binary numbers since you, it, it's best, you know, like I said up here to go from right to left, but you want to still write it out from left to right. So what I do. As I go over to the side, I go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's five digits in here, or bits. So uh, here's my, my first uh, power is going to be 4. So it'll be 1 times 2 to the 4. Okay, since we're, it's, it's the same thing. It's just that um, we're just rep representing this as binary. Okay, and then we have 0 times 2 to the 3rd plus... 0 times 2 to the 2nd plus 1 times 2 to the 1st plus 1 times 2 to the 0. Okay? I barely fit that on the page. Okay? So we're actually ready to convert this if we want. We can go 1 times 2 to the 4th, that's just 16, plus this is just 0, anything times 0 is 0. And same with this term right here. And then this term, that's 1 times 2 to the first power is just 2, so that's just 2. And then 2 to the 0, you know, anything to the 0 power is just 1, so this thing stays 1. And it looks like that mat, or that binary number is 19. Okay? Um, we'll probably do a little more with them um, a little later. That's just kind of an introduction. Um, they're really not useful until you get into, like, uh, like, like digital circuits and stuff like that. Or if you're like a super nerd, you can use them to like write codes to your buddy. So, but um, anyways, thanks for watching this, and I've got more videos on um, all sorts of other things on the way. Thanks.